Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we're taking a look at the new version of the multi-stage, sorry, the easy multi-stage landing gear chip that I created that uh, kind of works. Let's check it out. All right, so if we jump into the editor and we go over here, you can see this is the old chip and it has four stages or four pivots that control or four sliders or four booleans. Yeah, that makes sense. And then the new chip has five but it also has the inverted versions in case you want to do like multiple things. You can also just delete those if you want to be smaller, but I'll probably put this chip with the deleted ones so you get like the same size, if that makes any sense. Okay, so <laughs> let me explain what this does. This is for doing multi-stage landing gear. So say you want a wheel to turn as it goes up and then the door shut and then maybe something else happens. You can do this in order and the old version worked pretty well except it was kind of hard to understand. I kept forgetting how to use it because I named it these crazy things. So I have stage one, close, stage on. I have, see, I have, looking at it again, I have no idea how it works. So when I was building the B24s or rebuilding, I redid the chip. So if we look over here, the new chip is almost the same, except we have it divided up now. So this first part over here is down. So that means the landing gear is down and these are the settings you will use. So this is the total time in seconds it takes for it to go from up to down, or sorry, to go to down in this case. And this is used to put the status light. So this would be a status light and you can invert it depending on what you wanna do with it, you know, on or off, whatever. And then we have our seconds that things happen. So pivot one at second five will send out a number one uh, to pivot one. Now this can be a slider or a pivot, but it was easier to name these pivots so I could remember which thing was happening. So when we come down to the bottom here, you can see pivot one. Oh, I want that to happen at one second. When it's going back, where up here, I wanted to do it at five seconds. I'll show you what this means when I show you the example. We also have this section here, which is the inverted version of the boolean. So we can invert the boolean here so that on and off and off and on. Uh, but we also have this. So you don't have to do that anymore unless you're doing a smaller chip and you want to get rid of these because these are inverted. So if this is a one, this is going to be a minus one. Okay, let me show you what this looks like. Let me get the example. It's easier to see in action. All right, so here are my examples. Um, this one is just using sliders and we have that it is down right now. And if we push the big button or I show that you can you know, hook it up to a mini, uh, what you call it, mini panel. We can go ahead and press the button and it does use a toggle button. And so it's gonna go up, up, up. Okay, so the, the ups are Booleans that are being turned on. And then of course, when we go and click it again, this one's gonna go down first because we're reversing our landing gear. And there they go like that. Okay, and let me just show you what I mean right here. So if we come over here to the chip and let's just say that we want to do this Boolean Let's do the middle one, inverted. Come over here. Okay, now you see our up is on instead of our down. So you can, that's just so you can invert your booleans if you want to. But then of course, when you go like this, we're gonna swap. So we're gonna go up, up, that one goes down, up, up. All right, so this was, <laughs> so this isn't a great uh, demo for landing gear, but it just kind of shows you how that works. So here we have a very poorly designed landing gear where it's gonna go up, it's also going to flip the wheel upwards and also we're gonna twist it. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. So I do this and it goes up and it closes, okay? And it shows the lights on right here. That's the status indicator. So if we come back here, let's see if we can do it really quick. Oop, yeah, there you go, down, blown, blip, and down. So there you go, so it's reversing. So this is an easy way to set up your landing gear if you're doing multi-stages up to five different stages. And there it goes. And of course you can set all your timings on the ship. So anyways, that's how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and you know just grab this one right here. And I'm gonna make this a simple version real quick so we don't have to mess with it later. So if we just come in here and we're just gonna go ahead and delete these because we don't want the inverted versions because we don't need them really. Um, usually you don't need to do this. I don't know why I did this. I think I did something when I was messing with the movie and I needed some inverted 
versions at the same time as it needed the positive versions. So we're just going to go like this and we're going to go ahead and shrink this down. And now we have the easy version, I don't know, version 2022. Small. Yeah, let's just call it small. Small. All right, cool. So that is it. Just wanted to go ahead and give you this chip. And now we have the smaller version. And I'll upload this to the workshop so you can go ahead and see how it works. Um, pretty much it's just setting your down status of your landing gear first. So naturally your pivots would be zero because they're already down. And then you would come over here to the bottom and you would start doing your timings on when pivot one activates, when pivot two activates, etc., etc., and then a total time in seconds, how long it takes. Oh, like pivot five. We set that to five for one. Um, and that's it. Yeah, it's just a simple little thing. Nothing special. And again, I made it, so, you know, disclaimer. Uh, use at your own risk. <laughs> so that's it for today. I'm going to go ahead and upload these to the workshop. You can download them using the links below. And uh, if you have any questions, you can hit the Discord, but for, for the most part, uh, I don't think you should need any help. But if you do, let me know. See you next time. Bye!